All right, last video on this section, which is a pretty intense section. If you're kind of keeping your head above water, you should be really proud of yourself right now. The bad news is the next section is also pretty intense, but then we can kind of take a breath. Then we'll know all of our different rules. But let's not worry about the next section yet. Let's do one more video in this section. So far, everything we've been asked to do is just to figure out the derivative. And that derivative that you end up with is itself just a function. So since the derivative is just a function, and you can take derivatives of functions, there's no reason you couldn't take the derivative of a derivative. And you're like, yeah, I mean, I guess you could if that kind of thing is fun to you. And it's like, no, not just because it's fun. This thing, what's called the second derivative, the derivative of the derivative, which we write this way, by the way, is really useful. And we're gonna see two sections from now how knowing the second derivative can really benefit you. But for now, don't worry about why it's useful. Just suppose somebody asked you to find the second derivative. We have this function, f of x equals x squared e to the x, and we wanna find f double prime of x, the second derivative of this function. How would you do it? Well, first I'd have to figure out f prime of x, right? The first derivative of this function. The first derivative of this function would just be the derivative of x squared e to the x. Can you take the derivative of x squared e to the x? Yeah, you absolutely can. You'd recognize that you got something times something, so you gotta use the product rule. You might be good enough with the product rule that you can just figure this out in one line, but I'm gonna write it in two lines. You take the derivative of the x squared, and then you'd multiply that by e to the x. Then you'd add to that the derivative of the second thing, the e to the x, multiplied by the x squared. We can evaluate this. The derivative of x squared is something we know. It's just 2x using the power rule. We wanna multiply that 2x by e to the x power for this e to the x. Then we wanna take the derivative of e to the x, which just happens to also be e to the x, and multiply that by x squared. You could leave your answer just like this, or if you felt the need, you might recognize that both of these terms have an e to the x in them. So you could factor out that e to the x, and if you pulled out this e to the x and this e to the x, you'd be left with 2x plus x squared. Either way is totally fine. f prime of x is equal to either of these two expressions. But that's not where the story stops. We weren't trying to figure out f prime of x, the derivative. We're trying to figure out f double prime of x, the second derivative. To figure out the second derivative, all you have to do is take the derivative of the derivative. So f double prime of x would just be the derivative of 2x e to the x plus e to the x, x squared, the answer that I got up here. And if that's not the answer that you got up here, if this is the answer that you got up here, then your second derivative would be the derivative of this expression, e to the x times 2x plus x squared. I should get the same answer either way, but I'm gonna do it both ways because maybe that'll give kind of a plug for why it makes sense to simplify sometimes, how it can make future work a little bit easier to do. First, let's do the method in blue. We're taking the derivative of something plus something. Use your sum rule. We need to know the derivative of the first thing, 2x e to the x, and then we need to add to that the derivative of the second thing, e to the x times x squared. Two separate problems here. Answering the first problem, this two is just a constant, so I could pull that out in front and say it's two times the derivative of x times e to the x. Over here, I don't have any constants at all, so I'll just leave it as the derivative of e to the x times x squared for now. I think I've put off using the product rule for as long as I can. I have this two times this derivative, but this derivative using the product rule is the derivative of the first thing, the x, times the second thing, the e to the x, plus the derivative of the second thing, the e to the x, times the first thing, the x. Be careful with these parentheses. This two has to get multiplied by this entire derivative. If you don't have these parentheses in here, the two will just hit the first term, not the second term. And don't stop here. All of this work was just this half of it. I have to do the same thing over here. So I wanna add to this the derivative of the first thing, the e to the x, times the second thing, the x squared, plus the derivative of the second thing, the derivative of the x squared, times the first thing, the e to the x. Wow. The good news is now all of my derivative symbols, there's four of them, are asking me to take derivatives of things I know the derivative of. Right? The derivative of x is just equal to one. So I have one times e to the x in here. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, so I have e to the x times x here. The derivative of this e to the x is also just e to the x, so I got e to the x times x squared over here. And the derivative of this x squared is two x, 
So I have that 2x times the e to the x over here. All our derivative symbols are gone. We're done with this problem if we want. You could leave this as your answer. I'm gonna take it a step further and take this two and distribute it through the parentheses. So I get two e to the x plus two x e to the x, rewriting the order that I see these guys, plus x squared e to the x, rewriting the order that I see these guys, plus two x e to the x. You might recognize that you have an e to the x in each of these four terms. So you could factor out that e to the x and get two plus two x plus x squared plus two x. And as long as we've come this far, we might as well do one more step and recognize that we've got two x's over here and two x's over here. So really we have four x's, two plus four x plus x squared. This is the second derivative of this function, f of x. Kind of a mess, but if you can follow all that steps, I can confidently say that you're something of an expert on the product rule. Before ending this video, let me show you one more thing. We did all this work in blue and got this answer that you see down here. Maybe you recall that up above, when I figured out my first derivative, I could factor out an e to the x if I felt like it. I didn't have to, but I could, and that would give me a slightly different looking expression for f prime of x. If I use that slightly different looking expression for f prime of x, then when I'm taking the second derivative, my steps will be a little bit different. And I think what you'll find is the steps will be a little bit easier over here. Let's give it a shot. I'm taking the derivative of something times something. So my product rule tells me that I take the derivative of the first thing, the e to the x, and then I multiply that by the second thing, the two to the x plus x squared. But then I'm not done, I still have to add to that the derivative of the second thing, the two x plus x squared, times the first thing, the e to the x. The good news is these are all derivatives that I can take pretty easily. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So I get e to the x times two x plus x squared. What about over on this side, the derivative of two x plus x squared? You could break that into two derivatives if you want. You could use your coefficient rule if you want, but I bet at this point in the class, you can just look at this and tell me that that answer is two plus two x. Two from here, two x from here. This derivative needs to all get multiplied by the e to the x, so it's really important that I got these parentheses, then this e to the x right here. I have two terms separated by this plus sign, and they each have an e to the x in them, so I could factor the e to the x out in front. I think a lot of students would not see that I could pull out the e to the x up front, and what they would instead do is get rid of the parentheses first by distributing the e to the x's. Fine, I can do it that way. 2x e to the x plus x squared e to the x plus, if I take this e to the x in here, 2 e to the x plus 2x e to the x. Then recognize that, wait a minute, there's an e to the x in all four terms, so I can pull out that e to the x, and what I'm left with is 2x plus x squared plus two, plus two x. And yeah, you could have skipped this step completely by taking these e to the x's, moving them here, and then what's left in the parentheses get added to give you this. Note that what I have here is identical to what I have here, so I could simplify that and get this for my second derivative in several less steps or less uses of the product rule because I took the time to simplify up here in green. So I guess the moral of the story is sometimes it helps, especially when you're figuring out the second derivative, to take some time to see if you can simplify the first derivative a little bit. And when I say simplify, I mean rewrite it in a way that's conducive to you using the rules that you know as efficiently as possible.